It's one of the biggest problems plaguing beginning singers. You're starting to hit high notes for the first time, but those notes are all strainy and flat. Ma, 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 ma. No one wants to sound awful, but there's a simple mental trick I give to my students to help them nail those high notes on pitch every time. Ooh, let's go. Singing high notes flat is an obstacle that faces almost every singer. No matter whether you're just getting started off on your journey to singing more confidently, or whether you're stuck in a rut feeling like you're making almost no progress. Singing below the desired pitch is known as singing flat. Ma or you may be singing above the desired pitch, which is known as sharp. This leads to the question, why do so many singers fall a little bit flat when they're reaching for their high notes? Rather than nailing the note perfectly on pitch, most likely when you're first starting off, you're gonna be a little bit flat when you're singing up to your higher notes. Don't believe me? Just sing into one of those free vocal tuners and you'll see it plain as day. The answer is right there in front of you. You're reaching for high notes. But if you're not supposed to reach for the high notes, then what the heck are you supposed to do? I mean, everyone knows that in order to sing high notes, you have to lift your chin and, and puff out your chest and make a really funny face, right? No, no God! No, God, please, no, no! The fact is that most of my students come to me singing a little bit flat on their high notes for one simple reason because they're pulling up their chest voice in order to sing those higher notes. Chest voice is a term to talk about the notes in the bottom part of the voice. The term comes from old Italian teachers and singers that felt a vibration in their chest when they sang low notes like, mom. Now naturally, people think that if they wanna hit high notes with power, they naturally just need to bring up their chest voice in order to hit those notes. But that's an absolute guarantee that you're going to sing flat especially if you're singing notes in the head voice range. But what's the solution? Well, first, you have to realize that it's okay for those notes that are outside of your chest voice range to be somewhere else. Where are they? Well, you may feel them in your head voice, your falsetto, or your mixed voice. Everyone feels it differently. But if you're so used to pushing up to those high notes all the time, you may actually have to sing those notes in falsetto a little bit. Ma 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 Falsetto is that kind of breathy, hollow, kind of Mickey Mouse kind of sound. Ho 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 kids! And even though falsetto is a totally crazy sound, you'll notice that as soon as you start using it, your pitch gets better. Ma ma. Sure, they won't be as full at first, but for the moment, just notice how much better you're actually singing it on pitch. After all, you have to be willing to sound a little weird in order to get that note right sometimes. Remember, first sing it straight, then sing it great. But unfortunately, this is where most singers go totally wrong. Rather than letting their voice go to falsetto and sounding kind of silly, instead they just push up their chest voice and just strain spread the vowel, raise their larynx, and they just strain their voice, which of course is the reason that they're flat. But you're not gonna do that because you're working with me now. And remember, we want progress, not perfection. It's not important to be perfect right now. We just want that note to sound better. Ma, 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 ma. So now that you're singing that high note in falsetto, but more on pitch, it's time to learn how to sing that more fully. This is where it's absolutely crucial for exercises to come in. You could sing a gi, nay, mum, whichever one works the best for you. But now, go there with a fuller voice. Ma, 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 ma. But almost as soon as you start singing that note, you're going to notice a big problem, which is that note's going a little bit flat again. That's because as soon as you start singing that note, with more voice and more volume, 
you're naturally using a little bit more muscle than with falsetto. That muscle is like an anchor weighing you down, bringing your pitch down just a little bit. Now this is where the Jedi mind trick comes into play. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Rather than pushing up to that note from the bottom like you were at the beginning, I want you to now imagine that you're coming down to that note. You're singing on top of the note rather than pushing up to it. But I have to warn you, at first this is gonna feel totally weird. So instead of thinking of having to reach up for that note, instead, picture yourself on top of that note. Ma 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 The crazy thing is you may even feel like you're singing that top note a little bit sharp at first. If you're so used to singing that note flat, singing an on pitch is going to be a new experience for you. But soon you'll realize this is exactly how you need to envision those top notes in your voice. Those notes are not above you, they're below you. When you perform this simple mental trick of allowing your voice to go where it naturally wants to go, rather than pushing up to it, you'll notice that all of the flatness and the strain immediately disappear from your voice. But keep in mind, it's really likely you're going to have to practice this habit over and over and over again until it's really second nature to you. Having the right exercises is everything here. Let's start by taking away all the strain and the flatness from your voice so that you're on that pitch and in tune every time. Click here and we'll get started.